my class 7 today is 19th may today i am going to do some grammatical exercises with you of chapter number 3 okay so take out page number 21 of your textbook okay so in page number 21 you will see there is communication skill this part okay communication skills under that what we have to do is that listening comprehension okay that means i will read aloud one passage you have to listen it carefully and then you have to complete the filling the blanks one pa paragraph is given in your book in page number 21 so that paragraph you have to complete it by filling it with the proper answer okay so i am going to read it out twice so please listen carefully then then you complete that one okay i am reading it so please listen carefully at the age of 19 months helen killer was a happy healthy child then she had a high fever which made her deaf and blind she used 60 different signs to talk to her family. So, if she wanted bread, she pretended to be cutting a loaf. If she wanted ice cream, she would shiver. But she could not talk. The family found a teacher named Annie Sullivan, who herself had once been blind. Miss Sullivan began by teaching Helen that everything had a name. But Helen had no idea what the words meant. One day, Miss Sullivan put Helen's hand under water and found the word water, that is W-A-T-E-R, in her other hand. As the water ran over Helen's hand, she understood that the word water meant the water that she felt on her hand. Helen would ask Annie the names of different things and Annie would spell out the words on her hand. Miss Sullivan taught Helen many things to read and write and even to use a typewriter. In time, Helen learned Latin, Greek, French and German. While Helen was in college, she wrote her autobiography called The Story of My Life. With the money she earned from the book, she was able to buy a house. I am again reading this one. Please listen carefully. At the age of 19 months, Helen Keller was a happy, healthy child. Then she had a high fever which made her deaf and blind. She used 60 different signs to talk to her family. So if she wanted bread, she pretended to be cutting a loaf. If she wanted ice cream, she would shiver. But she couldn't talk. The family found a teacher named Annie Sullivan who herself had once been blind. Miss Sullivan began by teaching Helen that everything had a name but Helen had no idea what the words meant. One day Miss Sullivan put Helen's hand under water and formed the word water in her other hand. As the water ran over Helen's hand, she understood that the word water meant the water that she felt on her hand. Helen would ask Annie the names of different things and Annie would spell out the words on her hand. Miss Sullivan taught Helen many things to read and write and even to use a typewriter. In time, Helen learned Latin, Greek, French and German. While Helen was in college, 
she wrote her autobiography called The Story of My Life. With the money she earned from the book, she was able to buy a house. So students, after uh, listening to this, you will complete this passage, page number 20. So you have to fill in this blanks and you have to complete it and send it to me by email for correction. Okay? Thank you students.